Magandang araw mga ka-Pet Piles. Ako po si Dr. Harold Ray de Maisip, ang brand manager ng Pet Options. At nagbabalik tayo para sa Breed of the Week. Kami dito sa Pet Options ay naniniwala sa responsible pet ownership at sa pagbibigay ng knowledge tungkol sa iba't ibang breeds ng aso. So, andito tayo ngayon uh, para ipakilala yung breed na Miniature Pincher. So, yung Miniature Pincher is a well-balanced dog, a compact and sturdy dog. Uh, this belongs to the toy group for uh, in AKC standards, but in uh, FCI standards, uh, the miniature pincher belongs to the group two or the pinchers and molosoids group. So, as you can see, this is Harley, our miniature pincher, our Philippine champion dog. So, as you can see, this is a well balanced, put together dog. And uh, generally, miniature pinchers uh, have a height of uh, 12 to 15 inches from the withers. So this is, this is a good example of an adult male miniature pincher. Miniature pincher's characteristic is a very proud vigorous and alert type of dog and they are also very loyal to their owners and uh, they are easily easy to train i mean so uh also um they, their movement has a very uh, unique uh form they have a movement called the hack knee wherein they uh their four legs here uh they uh, do like a hack knee like uh, movement like a horse that's uh, galloping. They are very playful dogs. They uh, like to play, but uh, they are uh, very easy to train as well. About the colors of the miniature pincher, well, they have three uh, accepted colors. First is the solid red colors and the uh, stag red. Uh, stock red means that it's also red but with a little bit of black pigmentation or a little bit uh, black with black hairs. Uh, and so it's like a darker red in uh, color. Uh, the last uh, accepted color is the black and tan. So that, uh, that is the three um, accepted colors of the miniature pincher. When it comes to health problems, the miniature pincher is a very healthy dog. Uh, the only, I mean, health problem that you might encounter with a miniature pincher is arthritis. So we have many reports of uh, adult uh, or uh, matured uh, miniature pinchers that have uh, arthritis. So uh, this is only one disease that uh, you might uh, want to look at when uh, owning a miniature pincher. A lot of miniature pinchers and we have been breeding and exhibiting miniature pinchers for the last, uh, I think, uh, 12 years. My dad uh, first started uh, introducing this to me. And uh, actually, my dad is the one who first showed miniature pinchers. We have been showing miniature pinchers nationwide from Manila, Bacolod, Cebu, uh, Man um, uh, Davao, Cagayan de Oro, and a lot more places. Uh, we've been uh, to PCCI shows, and we've been also breeding them and uh, rehoming uh, show potential uh, miniature pinchers and also for uh, pets. When training a miniature pincher, it's best to start at three months of age. Why? 
because at three months of age, I think the deworming schedule and the vaccination program is also uh, been done. It is for the protection of your puppy. Because when training, we usually uh, introduce them to the outside world, to the outside surroundings. So it's best that uh, our uh, puppy is dewormed and vaccinated. Ako po si Dr. Harold Ray de Maisip, ang brand manager ng Pet Options. And uh, this is it for Breed of the Week. Thank you for staying with us and we hope we have imparted more knowledge about taking care of your pet's health and welfare. Again, this is Dr. Harold Ray de Maisip at ito ang Pet Pals TV, ang pet show ng bayan. Brought to you by Pet Options. We care for them all. Big and small.